actually it's the scalp for me look at that transformation what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome also if you are new subscribe to my channel and if you've been here for a while and you're still not subscribed I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm appalled. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers, guys, and I would love for you guys to support me in this journey, so please go ahead and subscribe. Today, we're going to be talking about the Head and Shoulders Royal Oils Collection. So we are strictly talking about scalp health today. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you guys know that I do have a couple issues with my scalp that I deal with regularly. I do get itchy scalp. I do get some really thick flakes and things like that. Uh, and I do get dandruff. So from the Royal Oils Collection, I have the shampoo and the conditioner. If you guys don't know, this line is infused with coconut oil. So if coconut oil is not really your forte or you have an allergy to it, if it breaks your scalp out, this is not gonna be the line for you. But I did wanna show you guys kind of the difference between this line and the regular head and shoulders. So on the shampoo for the Royal Oils line, it says, cleans and hydrates hair and scalp and provides long lasting scalp relief. This is the regular, you know, head and shoulders. And this one, it just says America's number one dandruff shampoo, scalp protection, and that's really it, right? So the Royal Oils line is keeping your scalp moisturized as well. The normal head and shoulders shampoo dries the mess out of your hair like your scalp and your actual hair as well. This one is the Daily Moisture Scalp Cream. You can use this every day on your scalp to make sure that your scalp doesn't dry out. And that's basically the main function of this. This one, it just says to apply to the affected areas one to four times daily as directed by a doctor. So you can pretty much use this every day on your scalp, or I wouldn't say every day, maybe every other day so that you know you don't cause too much buildup in your scalp. But I've used this before and it is amazing. And then I also have the Instant Soothe Scalp Elixir. So when you are having a breakout, this is what you want to spray on your scalp to help relieve the itchiness, to help relieve any burning sensations, anything that's going on in your scalp. This scalp elixir is amazing. I have the Seal and Prep Moisture Milk. So you would put this in your hair before you install any sort of weave, braids, twists, whatever it is um, you decide to do with your hair. And it says that it locks in flake protection and preps hair for styling. So this is another preventative measure to make sure that your scalp does not have any flakes in it. Last but certainly not least, we have the Royal Oils Deep Moisture Mask. This hair mask is so good. So what I'm gonna do today is mix in some coconut oil. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that when I deep condition, I like to use oil with my deep conditioner. So since it already has coconut oil, I'll probably just mix it in with a little bit of extra coconut oil today. But I'm done talking about these products. Let's get into the wash day routine. So I've had my hair in this bun for a few days, so it is definitely in need of some moisture. But before I do that, I'm just going to start picking my scalp. Guys, if this is gross to you, you may want to just fast forward a minute in the video. But for me, I don't know, I'm a weirdo. I kind of like watching videos of people picking their scalps and I enjoy picking other people's scalps. I don't know, don't judge me, but clearly you guys can see that I had some dandruff. So I wanted to go ahead and pick my scalp right here. Honestly, this helps because when I wash my hair, when the dandruff gets wet, it's really hard to get it out of my hair. So I like to do this when my hair is dry. You can see my scalp kind of looks a little bit raw. It's a little pink because I was in the middle of having a breakout right before I was filming this video. So you guys can see my scalp is a little bit discolored, but I usually do this like all the time. If my hair has been in the same style for a while, I'll go in and pick my scalp before I wash my hair just to make it a little bit easier on me. I had a lot of dandruff. My scalp was really itchy, it was really red. So this was like the perfect day to use these products to show you guys. Mm -hmm. 
So this is what my scalp is looking like after I get all of the dandruff out. So now it's time to shampoo. So I usually detangle my hair first, split my hair into sections, and then shampoo my hair in sections in the shower just to make sure that my hair does not get matted by the head and shoulders shampoo. But like I told you guys, this Royal Oils collection will not make your hair matted. It will not tangle your hair either. Right here, you guys can see what I'm talking about. My hair is not matted at all. I was even able to separate my curls after not detangling at all and just using shampoo. Now let me tell y'all something about this conditioner. Like I just said, I did not detangle my hair at all in this process until now. This conditioner glided through my hair like butter. It is amazing. So my hair is freshly washed. I'm about to apply the deep conditioner and I'm gonna add in that coconut oil like I told you guys earlier in the video. Okay, now I'm gonna sit under my heat cap for 30 minutes, but before I do that, I was just dipping the ends of my twist into the oil. You guys know that the ends of your hair is the oldest part of your hair, so it does require a lot more TLC than your roots. It's really the curl definition for me. You guys know if you have type 4 hair, how difficult it can be sometimes to get our curls to be defined. But this deep conditioner is the truth. And I'm telling y'all, combining it with that coconut oil really took it to the next level. Actually, it's the scalp for me. Look at that transformation. Amazing. No more itchy scalp, no more dandruff, and most importantly, my scalp felt super clean. I'm using the scalp elixir in the front of my head because like I said, I just had a breakout, so I do wanna go ahead and treat those spots that were irritated. Next, I'm going in with the Daily Moisture Scalp Cream. I just put some in the palm of my hand, and then I use my finger to make sure that it gets directly on my scalp. My style of choice for today was a braid out, and I'm just finishing off my routine by making sure that my scalp is moisturized. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have any questions about this line or if you've used it. Tell me how you like it, if you don't like it. And let me know what kind of scalp issues you guys have. I'm super interested to know because I know I'm not the only one who's struggling out here. Anyway, that's all for today. Love you guys. See you in the next one. I, 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 I begin to